Since the mid-70s, BC Hydro has been evaluating this 900-hectare project site along the Peace River, just 7 kilometers southwest of Fort St. John, as the potential location of the Site C Dam. Just three years ago, on July 27, 2015, construction began, and since then, the project has been supported by both former BC Liberal Premier Christy Clark and current NDP Premier John Horgan. Late last year, it underwent a review by the BC Utilities Commission, and despite several opponents' wishes, construction on the project received the green light to continue. Many of those opponents say construction crews still need to hit solid bedrock in order to anchor the powerhouse spillways and concrete abutments on the south bank of the dam, but BC Hydro says that's not necessarily the case. We've been on the site uh, since the mid-70s, and the site actually is uh, littered with drill holes, hundreds and hundreds of drill holes. We know the site very well. The site is located on an ancient riverbed and provides crews with materials that can be crushed into roller compacted concrete and other needed resources. And engineers have designed the structures to be anchored to the shale materials underneath. We're not looking for a bedrock. The, the dam is going, uh, is going to rest on shales and the powerhouse and the spillway structures are going to be anchored into the, the shale materials as well. Uh, and we know what they look like because literally there are hundreds of drill casings here. So we're not looking for a bedrock. The shales are the material. Moving forward, BC Hydro says they're working towards their next deadline when they plan to divert the Peace River in 2020. Currently, major excavation work is being done along the north bank to remove and stabilize overburdened materials. Several coffer dams are also being excavated along both banks of the project. These are crucial for the dam's river diversion tunnels, and work continues on the site's main high-voltage substation that will supply power to both the lower mainland and local communities like Fort St. John, Dawson Creek, Taylor, Hudson's Hope, and Tumbler Ridge. Brendan Miller, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.